Do what you can with what you have, where you are. This is the theme of Nelson Mandela Day this year. To honor his legacy on the promotion of social justice, the fight against poverty and the promotion of a culture of peace throughout the world. The United Nations General Assembly in 2009 proclaimed Nelson Mandela's birthday 18th July as Nelson Mandela International Day. Devoting the day to public service, individuals around the world are asked to mark Nelson Mandela International Day by making a difference in their communities. South African leader Dr. Nelson Mandela, 1918 to 2013, is recognized worldwide for his work of the upliftment of blacks. Nelson Mandela, who was often called as the Gandhi of South Africa, had strong Indian connections and striking similarities with India's father of the nation. He was also the president of South Africa. Nelson Mandela was freed in 1990 and negotiated with state president F W D Klerk the end of apartheid in South Africa bringing peace to a racially divided country and leading the fight for human rights around the world all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights In a world that constantly engaged itself into more violence as years went by, both Gandhi and Mandela opted for the path of non-violent political strategies. Mandela admitted being inspired by Gandhi, as he called Gandhi a role model in his life. Mandela was the first non-Indian recipient of Bharat Ratna, a vowed Gandhian. Madiba, as Mandela was affectionately known around the world. always praised gandhi for his principles of satya and ahimsa and followed his philosophy we in south africa are convinced that it is both possible and practicable to reach our goal of a better life for all in the short possible time we derive our confidence from the knowledge that this is a vision shared by the overwhelming majority of south africans across the color and political divide and we fully appreciate the role of the international community in making this happen not only in the form of material support if we are able today to speak proudly of a rainbow nation united in its diversity of culture religion race language and ethnicity it is in part because the world has set us a moral example which we dare to follow The anti-apartheid icon shared a special bond with India and this was there for the world to see when he chose the land of Gandhi whom he called his political guru a role model as his first destination abroad in 1990 after spending 27 years at Robben Island 9 kilometers from Cape Town where Mandela spent most of his life in prison it was a defining experience of his life the regime on the island was harsh with prison wardens who tried to break and demoralize political prisoners like Mandela Mandela said the Gandhian influence dominated freedom struggles on the African continent right up to 1960s because of the power it generated and the unity it forged among the apparently powerless As South Africa's first black president from 1994 to 1999, Mandela drove close relations with India, and the two countries forged bonds over groupings like IBSA and BRICS. Mandela received the award of the International Gandhi Peace Prize for Social, Economic, and Political Transformation from Indian President K. R. Narayanan in 2001. Desmond Tutu, a close ally of Nelson Mandela, was in the struggle against apartheid in South Africa and was one of the most powerful opponents of the previous system of white minority rule. Had to say, this man went to jail a very angry 
young activist. He came out someone who was magnanimous, someone who had a depth that he would not, I believe, have gained had it not been in this crucible of suffering. Gandhi and Mandela were imprisoned a number of times in their political career. However, the most striking part of that, both of them spent time in the Fort Prison, Johannesburg. Both of them eventually became an inspiration for world peace. They inspired many nations and leaders. Both of them led the individual nation to international prominence by securing major political achievements, merely with non-violence movements unlike most of the other nations. Confronted by the challenges of apartheid, physical imprisonment and doubt, Mandela nonetheless yielded his inimitable spirit to improve the lives of millions of his fellow countrymen and women as an activist, scholar, leader and ultimately one of the world's greatest ever humanitarians. Not only did Mandela liberate an entire country from the grips of the racist apartheid system, but he also continued the fight for the world's most vulnerable people until the very end of his life. Right down the century and in every part of the world, men and women come and go. Some leave nothing behind them, not even their name. It would seem that they never existed at all. Others do leave something behind, the haunting memory of the evil deed they committed against their fellow human beings. Every time their names are mentioned, Feelings of contempt and revulsion well up in our hearts. But there is a third category, also of men and women who leave something behind. Men and women who have chosen the entire world as the theater of their operation, as the background for their ideas, who join issue with all those who are guilty, directly or indirectly, of violating human rights. These are the people who put sunshine in the hearts of the very poor, who make all human beings feel that life is rewarding, it's worth living. They are immortal. <laughs>